I'm David. And I'm Kevin. With our partner, Ben, we found a Boreo. We make skateboards from recycled fishnets collected along the coast of Chile. We needed to figure out how we were going to do it. Basically, take something that's just an idea and bring it through the prototype phase and into the development phase and continue to grow. The first thing was just kind of struggling with where is this plastic coming from? Why, when we go to Australia, California, Southeast Asia, everywhere you see plastic in the ocean? We knew it needed to be something where we could take this commodity, this plastic, and turn it into a high-value product. And the one thing that we found that really didn't have any solutions, didn't have a recycling program, was fishing nets. There was no infrastructure in place to dispose the nets properly so they were damaging the ecosystem. We wanted to show people that there's value in this discarded material. These nets make up 10% of the plastic trash in the ocean. With limited recycling options, it made sense for us to work with this material. We had that aha moment and said, why don't we make a plastic skateboard? We all surf and we all skate. It was our way of expressing our passion while also creating a solution to this harmful material. The surfing skating culture, because of their outdoor involvement, they can know that by buying a board that they are making a difference. Crowdfunding enables young innovators to get projects off the ground. A startup program in Chile gave us the opportunity to take our ideas from Australia to South America. We set up a program to buy back old fishing nets from the fishermen. The nets are collected, transported to our recycling facility in Santiago, shredded, repelletized, and injection molded into skate decks. This started as a basic sketch on a napkin. From the very first sketches, we went through 50 different versions before we landed on the one that we all love. You're never gonna get everything right the first time. Nothing goes smoothly, and you're gonna have setbacks, and the difference between success and failure is how you deal with those, and how you move past them and continue to grow. We really wouldn't be able to do what we've done so far with Boreo if it wasn't for what we learned in college. There are so many new tools, like Autodesk, available now to help young designers. Turning something that exists on a computer screen into reality. As opposed to just thinking of one giant problem, it's now breaking that up into kind of little pieces. When you have a career that has a passion behind it and has a meaning behind it, you're gonna put that much more energy into it. A lot of kids, they feel like they're forced to do things because that's what, you know, maybe an investor is interested in. If you just step back and say, okay, what am I good at? What am I passionate about? You'll find success as opposed to trying to walk someone else's path.